Hi guys, um, as she said, I'm going to be talking about how to beat the bullies. Um, I chose this topic with a vague awareness of how to best address it, um, as I'm still recovering um, from being a victim of severe bullying to the point of the direct death threats. But I guess today we just have to test the phrase, with knowledge comes experience. And here I've got four steps on beating the bullies with a fig leaf rather than a sledgehammer. And I say the first step is to recognise that you're being bullied. When being bullied, there can be a tendency of being blind to the reality of the situation and live in the false hope that everything will be honky-dory tomorrow. This can ultimately, I'll say, make things worse because when you focus on the misconception, you become weaker to actually deal with this, what's going on. With each passing day, the reality of the circumstance and the emotional toll will become like a strangled string ball and I'll say that the second point is to acknowledge that you are being bullied. Without accepting it, you cannot fight it. And bullies tend to try and make you think that the problem is with you. And once you believe this lie, you'll begin to reject the reality of the situation. The thought that you are the cause of the victimization will prevent you from speaking up and fighting against it. This will ultimately leave you in a weaker situation, position, which is what the bullies want. If you give them an inch, they will take a mile. And remember that the destruction of a person starts with the destruction of their identity. Third point, I'll say, is to speak up. This is, can be verbally and practically, but not tit for tat. I'll say speaking up can be more than a verbal course of action. It's about doing things that are true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, not the worst, the beautiful, not the ugly, and things that are praiseworthy. However, sharing what you're experiencing with someone else that you trust is important. This can be maybe your parents, close relative, a friend, or a member of the school authorities. It prevents the accumulation of negative emotions that can have damaging mental and physical effects. It also speeds up the healing process, allowing you to move on with your life. I'll say that the fourth point is to ride the ball. Take positive advantage of the bad situation. I'll say, let it be the wind in your cell, driving you to your desired haven and not the abyss of the bully. I'll say that one key way of beating the bullies is by identifying how the actions can bring about the best in you. For example, you may notice that as the bullying continues, a desire to protect others from the injustice may develop or increase in you. And I'll say, yes, go on, show kindness and support others. Remember that a wise man is the one who builds a house with the stones thrown at him. And I'll say that a bonus tip is to remain hopeful, to keep strong and maintain a clear vision for your future and never allow the bullies to rob you of this. And I'll say that if you apply these tips, bullying will be a big loser, whilst mercy and love march on triumphantly. And as I said earlier, I was a victim of severe bullying and these tips helped and are still helping me with the recovery process. So I hope they are great use to you. And thank you for listening.